Hello, checking in, day one. It's still happening. <laughs> so, I got a little carried away <laughs> already, and I've been working on the front. I figured the thing I was most concerned about, feeling like I'm sleeping somewhere clean. I have like, I guess a weird issue with that. Like I don't like saying a hotel that like the mattress feels dirty and the mattress in here is as old as I am and it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to me. I don't think anybody else should be sleeping on it. Um, a lot of people are always like in these videos just recovering them and that doesn't make me feel good. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I took down all of the little curtains and I put them in my washing machine just in case and then I clocked everything down and then there was like a little spot in the window that just needs resealed so I just <laughs> shoved some saran wrap over it and taped it because it kind of looks like it might rain today so before I can run to Home Depot and get some sealant I wanted to make sure it didn't leak and then this just little cover that they made because I looked underneath it and it's just insulation so and it looked okay so I just put some Gorilla Glue on there and then taped it down and then when I get the sealant I'm gonna run sealant over it and then I decided to take there you had a board I'll show you all of the original stuff here in a second they had a board that was just sitting across this but when you would sit on the bed you could feel the board <laughs> like edges in your back so what I decided to do was get on the Google box and Zinus the mattress company that I have my mattress just in my master bedroom makes a one and a half inch metal frame with slats in it and so I bought that um, for a full sized so it could still have a frame so the the mattress could breathe so I don't end up getting like mold or anything underneath it and then um, the full mattress that I bought over top of that so then I think we'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna obviously redo some of the wallpaper e stuff and I haven't decided on like the aesthetic for that yet so I'm not doing any of that right now. I'm just like cleaning. I'm just like wiping things off so that's kind of where we are right now so worse comes to worse in three days I have somewhere to sleep because <laughs> that's all I was really worried about like just knowing that it's not moldy it's not gross because I flipped the other one over and it's gross. I'll show you. And Pippa is still sleeping. <laughs> She's doing good in here. But I'm trying to get her used to it and get some stuff with her smell in it in here. But yeah, that's where I've gone so far. Oh, and then I did start to pull this up and it doesn't look gross um, underneath, so I'm excited. So I took out the fire extinguisher, this thing, because obviously we still need it, so I'll probably spray paint that black because I have black spray paint. And then whatever I decide to do on the wallpaper will just go over the wood that's underneath this. Because it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. So I'm hoping I can just pull the carpeting off and be done with it. <laughs> so if I start doing something more intense, I will like fast forward through it to show you what I'm doing. But right now I'm just kind of like unscrewing things and seeing what's underneath them so I'm not like a professional by any means so I don't think it's helpful to watch me like listen to a podcast and like be scared to like peel off some carpet you know so keep you updated Oh. 
to take the couch out honestly lifted it up because I wanted to see again what was under here because it's my water tank and there's like a storage thing outside and then the inverter or converter and it was really easy so I just took it out and put it in my garage you can probably see it through the front window um yeah it took like literally one second so now I feel like my I had a plan to just keep this side but now I feel like I want to make this into like a chaise and have like a wraparound um cushion in the corner and just put like a platform over this and then open this up instead um so then I can still get into bed so I guess we will see because I didn't realize how easy that was gonna be so here we go. Also, th there's something over here that's broken, and I can't tell where, like, this piece came from, but I definitely didn't break it, um, because the sofa literally fell off. I don't think it ever was on there, to be honest, because when they showed it to me, it didn't seem very stable, and I hit a really big bump because there was construction, and I heard it move, so maybe that's when it broke. Who knows? But... I guess I could build something else to put over top of it or find another futon that like fits it but that futon's really heavy so I don't and I'm not gonna sleep on it so I don't really know I guess why I would need it so we'll see what I decide <laughs> hello it's me again still no outro uh same day as the first video so I'm getting these done for you guys but just no outro so this was the end of day one um, it's so funny to hear all the things that I planned and then what I actually ended up doing. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, I don't really have any other social media, so just follow me here and I will keep you guys updated. See you next time. Bye.